Well, I have plenty of personality when I'm out of the car uh, and out of the racetrack environment, but when I'm here at the racetrack, it's, it's to work and it's business and I'm trying to win. standing in the middle of Martinsville Speedway. Yep. This has been pre-race, post, everything, a huge deal for Hendrick Motorsports. Obviously, if Rick Hendrick didn't persevere and come here in 1984 and then Jeff yeah. Bodine go on to win, none of us would be standing here. However, nobody's making a big deal of how much this track is so significant to you. Didn't your career essentially start here, 2006-ish? Yeah, it did. Um, I, I came to my first race here watching in person uh, in the stands, and that's where, really where I fell in love with NASCAR. And um, I was watching on TV a little bit here and there uh, when I before that time, but then going to a race and smelling the fuel and, and uh, the tires and everything and, and the noise, it just really captures you as a young kid, so it was a pretty cool place for me. People today want to make such a big deal, whether it's you or Raja Karuth or anyone, Gran Turismo, of starting in a sim or starting on a video console and moving to real life racing. But that's not as easy as you guys are making it look. Can you talk about some of the challenges of making that transfer and then finding a way to make it work sponsorship wise in real life? Yeah, it's really difficult. I think um, there's a lot of things that come with driving a, a real race car that are different inherently than doing it on a sim. But the sim gives you that foundation, gives you that feel uh, and how to make speed and lap time and race people. So uh, just all the things that it takes to get experience. This, is, this sport's a lot about experience and marrying kind of your talent with your experience level. So I feel like iRacing did that for me and then uh, trying to just make it through all the different steps. You have to have a lot of help and support along the way to get to that point. So you just gotta um, you know, make yourself known at the racetrack and, and get to know a lot of people. Make yourself known at the racetrack. Whose door were you knocking on? Who were you tugging to say, hey, I'm over here, William Byron? Um, I mean, just various people, but you have to win races. So uh, I, I was able to win at every level that I was at and, uh, and a lot, you know, so I was able to win a lot of races, get in front of people. And then eventually that led to, you know, being around Mr. Hendrick and getting a chance to, to drive for him. Winning races is one thing. Winning the Daytona 500 is completely different. Does that ever sink in? Or would you just pinch yourself sometimes going, I just did that? Uh, it's still sinking in. I mean, you know, anytime you win the first race of the year, you have the whole rest of the year to, to do. So there's still a lot of work to do, but it, it is nice to start the year that way with such a strong uh, result and being able to win one of the biggest races of the year. So it's right up there um, with the biggest one I've ever had. Can you now, playoffs are a done deal for you now. Granted, that's gonna be a whole different race when we come to that. But can you now relax a little more in the summertime, go wakeboarding, do whatever no. you do? No, Not explain why. No, I mean, just uh, there's so much work and you just, uh, as soon as you take your eye off the ball in this sport, uh, it's, it's game over. So you just gotta keep trying to accumulate bonus points, trying to get faster each week. And hopefully by the time we get to September, we're prepared for the playoffs. Like you said, we're locked in those. So um, we just want to keep accumulating those bonus points because that's really what got us through here last year when, when we were in the round of eight. Well, that's a good point. All right, who out there, teammates aside, you're not allowed to say them, who out there do you trust the most to race next to? You're probably going to say Ryan Blaney, right? Uh, no, I mean, I, I think... Um, there's different guys, but everyone has their own personality out there and different styles. So I feel like for me, um, I trust my teammates quite a bit uh, when I'm racing around them because you know that you know you see them every week and you talk to them about your setup and their crew chiefs work together. So you feel like you're all kind of pulling the rope in the same direction, but you all want to win too. So it's uh, it's just it's just the nature of the sport. It's definitely a very different dynamic. You bring up personalities, and this is a bit of a rough question. It was brought up on Twitter this week. Why do more people not know about William Byron? First of all, you're still young. You have time. Does that sort of thing bother you? Or are you like, I don't care. I am who I am. Deal with it. Well, I have plenty of personality when I'm out of the car uh, and out of the racetrack environment. But when I'm here at the racetrack, it's it's to work and it's business, and I'm trying to win. So um, I like people that like that we win and put a lot of effort in and appreciate the work and preparation it takes to be successful at anything you do. And um, when I'm hanging out with my buddies or having a beer uh, at, a, at a bar in Charlotte, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty normal guy with a lot of personality. But uh, when it comes to the, in between these walls, I'm, I'm very competitive. Hence why you're winning. That's it. You need to put the helmet on and be business. They said the same thing about Jimmy Johnson. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I, there's still a lot of, lot of uh, 
you know, wins to get to what Jimmy was. But yeah, he was the ultimate professional, and uh, you know, he he won a lot of races, and that's who I who I grew up you know watching. Okay, let's say you're in the final four at end of the season. Who do you want to be up against again? I don't really care. I think if we're in the final four, we're happy. So it's a, that's a goal in itself. Uh, but I feel like, um, yeah, we just have to see, you know, see who's the strongest teams at that point of the year. I feel like last year we were one of the strongest teams, but we were not the strongest team um, towards the end of the year. So just trying to be peaking at the right time and be, uh, be able to get the most out of our cars. Now that's a good looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April, four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back the Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet, in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire over 20 years with the freaks and of course, General Tire delivers. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! Yeah! For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAV TV. Monday is All American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAV TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All American Racing only on MAV TV, Motorsports Network. Hey, Dad, what are you going to buy at the store today? Uh, I'm out of Lucas Oil fuel treatment, so let's jump in here and grab us some. Well, do they have the Lucas Oil parts cleaner and degreaser? I bet they do. Well, how about the Lucas Oil power steering fluid? You know, they'll have that too. Even the Octane booster? I won't be surprised if they do. My favorite red and tacky grease? <laughs> yes, they will, babe. Dad, when we're done, can we grab some candy? Deal, but you gotta share. Awesome! Lucas works. <laughs> 